Eight people have been arrested in connection with the Abaco boat tragedy, which left at least 11 people dead. That announced by National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage today. Meantime, the bodies of victims recovered from the waters of North Abaco were brought to the capital this morning as a second day of searches began and ended with no success. Reports are that a trip to Florida from Abaco, which began late Sunday afternoon, ended in tragedy for passengers aboard the 25-foot vessel Glory Time. Officials say the vessel went down or off North Abaco in the area of Hawksville Key. Harkland Watson has the story tonight with exclusive video you'll only see on ZNS. You're looking at exclusive video shot by ZNS cameraman Valentino Benier at the Linden Pilling International Airport early this morning when an aircraft transported the recovered bodies from that deadly boat disaster off Abaco yesterday. The bodies were offloaded and taken by police and Commonwealth Funeral Home staff to the Rand Memorial Lab at the Princess Margaret Hospital. Police say the 25 to 30 foot boat left Abaco around 5 p.m. Sunday with 28 people on board. But shortly after that tragedy struck, the boat reportedly experienced difficulty with one of the engines, which slowed their progress. And as a result of the rough seas, the boat began to take on water and eventually capsized. When the story first broke, 11 bodies were recovered. The survivors were few. Commodore of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, Roderick Bow, said one of the men that managed to swim ashore in Foxtown summoned help. Up to the date, we got an, an additional report that there were five young boys who swam ashore as well. And so that means um, a total of six persons survived so far, and we got 11 bodies. While it is believed that the passengers were Haitian, authorities aren't confirming their nationality and say it might be even more difficult to determine who was the captain. They're also not saying whether the boat is a Bahamian-registered vessel. Commodore Bo expressing gratitude and satisfaction in the multi-agency partnership that assisted in the rescue and recovery efforts. Commander of Operations Nedley Martin Barrow says because Abaco was a large boating community, they make regular patrols. So fortunately, personnel were close by when the call came. He reveals, though, that time played a major role in their ability to rescue. If they had received uh, the report earlier, there is a possibility that um, some more lives might have been saved. Um, unconfirmed reports um, noted that this vessel may have capsized from as early as 8 p.m. on Sunday evening. And that's a, that's a great length of time to be in the water. Um, where the vessel was found uh, is not an indication of where it actually capsized. It actually um, is suspected to have capsized some two miles from that position. So we were very fortunate even to recover bodies um, still in the area of the vessel when it was found. So the time, time definitely played um, a great factor in this. In the last year alone, 100 distress calls have been received, 300 people rescued. Commodore Bo says it's a big part of their work. Because of either running out of fuel, uh, engine problems, um, and then we check these boats, there's no communication. There's no um, fuel, fuel, food, or water on board. And so a trip that may take, that may require a boating of over two hours, could end up being a two-day ordeal because insufficient information comes to us. You would have families calling and say, well, my loved one left to go fishing. You ask them questions where, um, where did they go or where did they leave from? No one knows. Now for a second day, Commodore Bo says they were out conducting search and rescue efforts. No word on whether any other bodies or whether any persons were found alive. They continue to investigate this tragedy. Clint Watson, ZNS News.